Let's talk about the cost of AI, literally. Microsoft threw another $10 billion at OpenAI earlier this year. In fact, AI startups racked in $25 billion in funding the first half of this year. There's no doubt the AI industry is booming. Really, can you imagine the world without ChatGPT now? You know, the times when you still had to write your own emails and do your own homework. It was pretty dark. But there's a problem. While these AI companies keep pushing the boundaries, they're also burning through cash at an astonishing rate. Meanwhile, NVIDIA, the GPU-making giant, just joined the trillion-dollar company club. These GPUs are the lifeline for AI operations, and every AI company needs a lot of them, especially the expensive ones. And it's not just GPUs. Running the models is also expensive. So why are GPUs so crucial and why, despite getting billions in investment, are companies still struggling to turn a profit? Let's dive in and find out. Modern AI models rely heavily on GPUs, which are designed for the vast matrix operations that AI models demand. CUDA, a toolkit developed specifically for NVIDIA GPUs, helps frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow run faster. Naturally, the larger and more complex the model, the more memory it requires. The top-tier large language models like GPT-4 or BARD are massive. GPT-4, according to some sources, has 1.7 trillion parameters. But I know when the numbers get so large, they stop making sense. So let's put it in perspective. A single parameter is typically represented by a 32-bit float, which is how computers represent real numbers. A 32-bit float takes up 4 bytes of memory. So consider storing 1 billion parameters. That's 4 bytes times 1 billion equals 4 billion bytes, or 4 gigabytes of GPU RAM at 32-bit full precision. Now, that's already quite some RAM, and that's only to store the model weights. If we want to train the model, we need to plan for other components, such as two atom optimizer states, gradients, activations, and temporary variables. This can easily lead to 20 extra bytes of memory per model parameter. In fact, to account for all these overheads during training, it will actually require approximately 20 times the amount of GPU RAM that the model weights alone take up to train a 1 billion parameter model at 32-bit full precision. You need approximately 80 gigabytes of GPU RAM. 80 gigs of GPU RAM is the memory capacity of NVIDIA's A100 GPU. And the price of it? Oof. Just to put that in perspective, the newest consumer-grade NVIDIA GPU, the 4090s has 24 gigs of RAM and costs more than $2,000 for one. And the worst news is that because it's so in demand, it's not even available if you have the money. This somehow reminds me of two years ago when it was so hard to buy GPUs because people were using them for mining crypto. Somehow, Nvidia manages to keep riding these waves. Now, you see, that's just for 1 billion parameters. When you try to train bigger models at 32-bit full precision, you quickly hit the limit of a single NVIDIA A100 GPU. Now, although there are techniques such as quantization, which means using either 16-bit or 8-bit precision, which can reduce the memory requirements, it does come with the trade-off of reducing the quality slightly. And as we keep demanding bigger and more powerful models, the cost is likely to keep increasing. Many models now have sizes in excess of hundreds of billions of parameters. This means we'll need hundreds of times more memory capacity to train them, tens of thousands of gigabytes. These enormous models dwarf the 1 billion parameter we've been talking about. And when companies are training these types of models, they'll need to turn to distributed computing techniques to train the model across multiple GPUs. This could require access to hundreds of GPUs. It's not so hard to see why it's so expensive to train. 
now we've covered the training cost of large language models. And the training is largely a one-time cost. However, on top of the training cost, every interaction, every query processed by the model in real time has a cost. This is called the inference cost. Semi Analysis Chief Analyst released a report earlier this year. According to his analysis, running ChatGPT costs approximately $700,000 a day. That breaks down to 36 cents for each question. Given the widespread use of AI, you'd think these companies are making huge profits. But the reality is different. The cost of training and running these models, coupled with the need of continuously innovate and stay ahead, means that profitability is still hard to achieve. There's no doubt that the AI industry is changing our world, making our lives easier in countless ways. But Behind this transformative power is an intricate and resource-intensive infrastructure. It's encouraging for me to see a dedicated community of researchers continuously working to refine AI, aiming for breakthroughs and enhancements. I think it's crucial for us to recognize and appreciate the vast infrastructure and significant cost driving this industry. And I'm excited to see what improvements are coming next. I hope one day I can train a powerful personal AI model just on my laptop. If you enjoyed this video, you likely enjoyed this other video I made about understanding the parameters that control AI's creativity and the details behind it. Go ahead and check it out. If you learned something from this video, smash the like button, share this video and subscribe. Until next time, happy computing.